that we have here at the Turtle Conservation Centre. Um, all the eggs here we get from beaches around um, either Sarangan or Kuta, Lagian and even up to Chengdu. We bring them here so that they have a higher success rate of survival. In the wild there's a lot of predators that wait for them when they hatch. Uh, snakes, reptiles, crabs, seagulls. So these little babies are olive ridley sea turtles. Um, we get most of these in the hatchery because they're the least shy to human activities on the beach. So once they hatch, uh, we place them in the sand, we wait for their little placenta to fall off and then when their eyes are open and wet, we put them into the salt water tanks. And we keep them here for maybe one week up to four weeks before we release them back to the ocean where they belong. The four weeks here are spent um, doing a, a number of things. Um, one of the main things is educating tourists that come by. So when tourists come through, uh, I show them around the place, educate them about turtles, why we want to conserve and save the turtles, um, the types of turtles that we have here and how they can help um, to, you know, to conserve these species. Um, so I do that a lot. Um, also being here, uh, we help to release baby turtles. So on a daily, over the last two weeks, we've had lots of baby turtles. So I've uh, helped them come to the beach and release them back to the ocean, um, as well as helping with uh, clean the, cleaning the pens um, or the, the tanks uh, to make sure they're, they're healthy. It was one of the ones that came up uh, when I was researching on places to volunteer. There was a few options of working with animals and um, I love turtles. I've grown up sort of around the water and um, so turtles to me are really sort of close to home so I thought uh, this place would be the best place to spend my time um, and as well as that I do love like dogs and that but I'm allergic <laughs> so turtles are a good option for me. <laughs>